Manchester City had a valuable opportunity to acclimatize to the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium before tomorrow's big Champions League quarter-final. City travel to North London as only the second visitors to the brand new Spurs Stadium and broke with their own protocol of training at the City Football Academy before a Champions League away game. Away clubs are permitted to train at the home ground before a Champions League fixture, but City tend to train at home before traveling to their destination. This time, however, Pep Guardiola chose to take up their option of an open training session at the away ground to get used to the new surroundings. And City's squad which included Sergio Aguero and youngster Ian Carlo Pavita will have learned a lot from the experience. This is what we noticed from the open training session, 1. Injury boost for Guardiola Sergio Aguero trained again after missing the last two games through injury, and his return would be a boost for Guardiola despite the fine form of Gabriel Jesus. Jesus scored at Wembley on Saturday, where Kyle Walker was substituted off with an injury doubt, but the England fullback was part of the training squad to boost Guardiola's limited fullback options. Man City train ahead of Champions League quarter-final first leg versus Spurs view Gallery 2. Left back problems, if Walker is not fit, Danilo will deputize at right back, but there is a bigger dilemma at left back. Benjamin Mandy started his first game in 146 days at the weekend so will be understandably rusty, while Alexander Zinchenko was not among the squad as he continues to recover from injury. Guardiola said Mandy would be assessed ahead of tomorrow's game, but if he is not fit, Fabian Delph may be asked to play there, but he is another who has limited match fitness in recent weeks. Three. Pavita's gain is Mangala's loss Ian Carlo Pavita was the surprise inclusion in the squad, as the young winger could be called upon to add something different to City's attack tomorrow night. But City are hardly short in that area with Raheem Sterling, Leroy Singh, Riyad Mahrez and both Silvas capable of playing on the wing. Ravida's call-up is even more remarkable considering he played in City Ed's Premier League 2 win over Everton on Sunday and travelled down to London after that. Also featuring in that fixture was Eliakwam Mangala, but tellingly there was no call-up for the defender who continues to be overlooked. Four. Forfeits for the losers There was no case of treating youngster Pavita lightly, as he and Bernardo Silva had to run through a tunnel of City players slapping their back and heads. Clearly, they had lost some sort of forfeit, and there may have been a similar punishment for Benjamin Mandy, who frequently was the player, to lose a game of keeping up ties among some players as the majority of first-teamers made their way out onto the pitch. Five. New stadium looked incredible just look at any picture of Spurs' new stadium, and it's clear this is no ordinary new build.
City were shafted by the delays in building Tottenham's new home earlier in the season as they played on a post-NFL playing surface at Wembley, but there will be no such conditions on Tuesday night. While the delays to the grand opening were not ideal, there is no doubting how impressive the new stadium is, and there is sure to be a deafening atmosphere awaiting City tomorrow. It's a stadium fit for the best in Europe, and City will be hoping to become the first team to leave with a victory.